So you, there isn't a game that you don't lace your shoes up and go out there and expect to win. That'll be the case. But there will be cycling some guys in. There will be guys getting days off. There will be a little bit maybe more of a scripted bullpen to make sure guys are ready and on what day and X, you know, who's pitched and so forth. So um, there's, there's a balance to that. But, you know, the, the fact that we have 28 guys that we feel confident in all these guys, it's still about going out and winning a game. What is the plan for the rotation over the next couple of days and any decisions made on postseason rotation? Yeah, so obviously we go Joe today. Tomorrow it's going to be Manaya. We'll see what the next day looks like. And then it's all about kind of lining it up for the next three. And it's pretty easy to forecast what those three are going to look like, but I, I, I'm reluctant to say that right now. How much of the balance is getting some of these guys going, like you mentioned before, a Trent, a Josh? Yeah, there, there is. You know, we want Grish to play some here. He's an important guy on our team. Um, we also want to see a little bit of Campy. We want to see some of Dixon. You know, there, there are some guys that we also, you know, in trying to put together a 26-man roster, how many pitchers, how many position players, who do we feel comfortable with. There's some guys there that we haven't seen a whole lot of yet, so that's part of the balance. That balance, numbers-wise, pitchers is... Ten relievers. If you dug into this, nine relievers. Like assuming you have three starters for those three games. Like, what is what is the balance there? Knowing that it's, it's a three-game kind of sprint. That you've got to... My guess is it's either going to be 14 and 12 with 12 pitchers, or 13 and 13. And I, I it probably more towards 14 position and, and 12 pitchers. But again, we have to see how how, how we get through these games. Um, and you know who's available on what days. So, who's the extra starter, extra reliever, and you know, there's still a lot of things to consider. I know it's still early in the process, but for it to be three games, you're not building it for one game, you're not building it for five or seven. It's three games Correct. with, like, without any off days. Like, how, how important is it that you get those, every one of those kind of pitching spots right? It is very important, but but you really can't forecast extra inning games either. You can't forecast a starter that you expect to give you seven innings that might not. So, you know, you, you do the best you can with, you know, what you think the best composition is. Can you speak to you, Darvish, as the National League Pitcher of the Month and how he just gets better as it, the season? Yeah, that's fantastic. I, mean, I was like, again? But it was a week and then now it's a month. But it's just who he is. You expect him to be in the running, you know, every week and every month the way he's pitched this year, especially the last few months. So another feather in his cap. I don't think he's t t all that concerned about it. You know, he's pretty you know, tunnel visioned in his next start, but he should feel good about that because those things don't don't come around too often, unless you're a guy like you, Darvish, I guess.